couple of presents to myself arrived yesterday. The first one is this box here. Now this comes from a company called Containerwise and I've been using these for a couple of years now. But I've run out of modules, they're all full of stuff. So I bought myself some more of these 43 modules. So hopefully now that's enough because I'm sewing a lot more now. I'm running out of these earlier before they're emptied. And these are definitely needed because my other present to myself are these. And that arrived as well. This is the garlic, the garlic farm. So I've got three types of bulbs. I've got extra early white, I've got Provence white, and I've got Matic white. So I'm going to start these off in these modules, so I best get on filling them up. I'll get back to you when I've done that. Right then, I filled up four of those trays. Um, each garlic, i got two bulbs up. So this is the Maddox White. And a couple of nice little bulbs there. Now when you're doing your garlic, keep them together until you're ready to put them somewhere. Either in the beds or in the modules because it stops them drying out then you can split them apart and plant them out this so these trees have 40 modules in them I usually get somewhere between 8 and 12, depending on the variety, 8 and 12 cloves per head. So I'll easily have enough here and spare. But I'm also going to plant out those uh, spring onion sets I got the other day from the greenhouse. Right, so that's one head done. Said this was the Maddock weight, so it's given us two, four, six, eight, nine. That's all I do. Take this down here. And take this. You can peel off the extra outside, but don't peel it back too much. You know, just the loose bit. And then I'll just pop it into the modules. Ooh, there's a doubler. Always use the largest ones you've got if you're going to be out of space. Because if you run out of space with your, and leave the large ones out, then you've lost quite a bit of your large garlics. But if you haven't got enough space for your small garlics, then that doesn't matter. Here, as I said, I'll have enough. I'll put the largest ones at one end. So I'll open the next bulb. There's three smallish garlics there. Actually not too bad though. Look at them. It's a reasonable size. So I'll just stick them in. Now, all I'm doing is put them in here so they can start to get their roots down. I bury them deeper in the soil once I've got the bed prepared and these roots are set off. Is that one, two, three, four, ten of them so far? I mean, I'm gonna have enough space to plant all of these out so. It doesn't matter what size they are, they'll get planted. So even these smaller ones are going. Some of them are starting to show little bits of green. If you find them that they dry out, then don't bother planting them dry ones because they're just dead. But these are all nice and healthy. Let me 
phone. There's 24. The 24 Matic Whites. And if I plant them six inches apart in all directions, that means I would get eight, so that would be three rows in my bed, which is four foot wide. And that would take up about a foot and a half to two feet. Okay, so I'll get on with the next one. These ones are the extra early. Now these are bigger than the ones, the bulbs I had last year. Last year I think they were small bulbs and they gave us four instead of two. This year they're pretty decent sized bulbs, which is a little better because you get bigger size cords in them. Small cord there, but that's right at the centre. So these are the ones right next to the uh, the stalk. This is a hard neck variety. Now hard neck they usually have less bulbs, but it's got a fair amount of bulbs. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bulbs. It's almost similar to the Maddox White. And then we'll do the next. Head. That's 12 bulbs out of this one. 12 head, yeah, cloves. That's 25 in total of this one. Peel off any loose leaves. Again, I'm putting the runts in as well because I'll have enough bed space. And what I'll do next time I, uh, next year, any lazy, little ones will go towards being made into lazy garlic. And these are decent sized clothes. And get them to go this size next year. Be whoa!
it so that would give me another foot and a half in the bed so that's 25 there and now I've got two sets here that I'd have three uh, 15 spaces in them so I'll probably stick these in the end of there and just mark up the differences because the same here I need a lot more trees to plant out with let's see one two this is the Provence four Got 22 so that's enough to fill up the user and leave a space in one of them so let's just get these to the side I'll start off from these three that'll give us take up 15 of them stick the plant labels in There's holes that are just filling up. There's the 15 in there, and we'll stick the rest of them in here. I'll stick in the end one so there's a gap between them. Twenty two of these. And is any nope? So that's twenty two about twenty out of each one, so that gives me forty five fifty five sixty five seventy seventy two. Yeah, seventy two uh, garlic bulbs there. Now if they all come, that's 72 heads of garlic, which is a lot of garlic. If they don't all come, it should at least be a decent crop. Now, as I said, I had extra trays done so that I could do these. These were the uh, onions that head I saw you, showed you the other day from the greenhouse, the walking onions. I use these to grow spring onion sets. It's just basically 
break the bulbs off one by one and plunk them in the only thing you've got to do is make sure you put them in the right way up and if you haven't next time you look at them the roots are growing you'll see the roots will actually be trying to grow round and the heads will try to get themselves the right way up so even if you put, plant them upside down they will try to right themselves <clears throat> so I think there's probably what about 20 on, on this bulb this head which is quite a return from one plant plus that plant will split at the root as well so I'll end up with an extra plant or two from it as it splits and goes back this year and as we get centre towards the centre of it you can get smaller and smaller bulbs but they all go in they'll all grow and once in the ground grown away well it's only one's chance So that's this done um if you liked it click like um subscribe share comment and i will see you on whatever i'm doing next which i haven't got a clue so enjoy yourself and i'll see you on the next video